this company might be the next big streaming company as well as gambling company. Stay tuned. You really don't want to miss this one. Hi guys. In today's episode, I want to talk about a company that um, I'm extremely bullish on. And if you connect the dots, I think uh, this is a company that can do big, big things in this year and moving on into the future. Uh, the company that we're going to be talking about today is Fubo TV. And we've spoken about this company before and we are going to attach the video about our first, first video on this, on this company. We've spoken about this company before. Uh, maybe about a month or two months ago and since then um the price of fubo has gone up um now moving forward i think this stock here has tremendous growth potential i think it's not really being talked about as much but there is a, a, a catalyst here that i'm looking at that might make this stock jump aside from obviously one of the sectors that we spoke about that we said was going to be huge in 2021 which is a gambling sector fubo is pretty much working itself out to be one of those companies that are going to come out on top i think um in fubo we do hold a position here on our robin hood account 232 shares and we also went ahead and and uh and did buy some calls on this on fubo uh, we have a $43 call that expires on 226 as well as a 50 50 call and a 52 50 call We will be making some videos showing you how to do calls if you guys are interested in that, please comment down below Let us know in regards to that, but um, I Do find this company very interesting uh, I did mention in one of our previous videos that we were looking to move some of our money out of uh, Robin Hood just because of this whole drama that's going on with it. Um, and we did open up account in Weibo. So we will be linking our Weibo account down below. If you guys want to get free stock, all you guys got to do is basically just sign up, use the link. And then as well, if you deposit, I think $100, you get another two free stocks. So in total, you'll be receiving four stocks. Um, so I am getting adapted to the, the Weibo. The forum or the platform is a little bit different, but I guess it's gonna take a little bit of time to getting used to. Robinhood offers a platform, and the reason why I went with Robinhood was because it's so easy to use. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the iPhone when it first came out. It just made it so simple. And I think if more of these platforms like Weibo, TD Ameritrade, um, Merrill Lynch, if all these platforms just simplified their platform just a little bit in terms of just being able to purchase, buy, sell orders, then I think they would get a lot more customers from Robinhood. However, um, I like Weibo as well because their charts are a lot more detailed as well. So on the one month chart here that, we, that we're looking at, it does it is showing a nice support here at about $39 or $40, okay? So you can tell here that on uh, January 26th, it, it hit this $39.69 uh, bottom here. And then it jumped right back up and then it came down after a few days down and then it hit the same bottom here which was uh 39.93 and then it jumped right back up and since then it's been constant consolidation but i do expect um this to trigger upwards again i do expect this stock to hit at some time during this year anywhere from 60 to 100 dollars um i don't know if it's going to be this week or next month or in a couple months but it will continue upwards i believe one thing i did want to mention they did do an offering and you can tell by the by the movement of the stock here which is on the 28th of january they do it they did do uh, an offering that can be termed as a bad negative thing and as a positive because usually when these companies do an offering it's because they want to raise money to go ahead and use that money in um in further advancing their their you know their platforms their their just their business in general it can be used as that but i don't think it's really going to dip too much okay it however it can but i don't think it will i think it has a tremendous amounts of volumes as you can see here there's a lot of volume in the stock okay whenever you have volume that predicts price so if you have a stock that has a lot of volume then obviously you're going to get price going up um but I do want to show you one thing that's very interesting in regards to this stock. Um, I want to read off this tweet here by Manpreet. Fubo TV is now the second most shorted name in the U.S. behind only GameStop. In just 48 hours, that figure dramatically increased. 
Keep in mind that they took uh, advantage of the situation where they are, did an offering on their stock. Earlier today, S3 man, managing partner short interest in FUBO stock is now 1.7 billion or 67% of the flow. Good for a 27% increase in two days as a percentage of shares out on loan to bearish relative to its shares outstanding. FUBO TV is now the second most shorter name in the US behind only GameStop. And we've seen what happened to GameStop. So I think this play right here might be in play for a nice little run here. I think it, it, it trend, it's trending upwards here. And I think it might be in play for a, for a nice little run. Um, once again, guys, this is not financial advice. This is just what I'm seeing. And I'm very bullish on this company regardless uh, of what's going on with GameStop and some of these other uh, uh, stocks, okay? But I'm just saying that if you've seen what happened with to one this may happen to this one as well so you might see it skyrocket to 60. Uh, at the same time you might see it fall i can't predict i can only tell what i'm seeing and i like to connect the dots sometimes and this channel we'd like to kind of get clues and base ourselves on what's going on and what's to come in the future so i think this is a good opportunity a buying opportunity uh for fubo if you're if you're um if you're bullish on uh, on the stock with that guys i don't want to go into it too too much but if you guys want to get the latest information when we throw out information as soon as we get it remember i've been talking about this over and over follow us at investing og on twitter okay and please like and subscribe uh to this channel it allows other people every time you like and subscribe it allows other people to get the same type of information and bring it onto their feed so with that guys thank you so much for watching the video and i'll see you on the next one